Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. But before we get started, I just want to let you know for all the weeklies that I did for this week, for the 14th to the 20th, you know, with the solar eclipse energies and the new moon energies, those could play out over the next six months. Okay, from over the next week to the next six months. So you might want to, you know, take a look at those and, and consider that, you know, for the next six months. So you'll find that playlist. It says December 14th through the 20th. Uh, so let's get started. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Oh, I don't know how many of you caught the live last night. It was pretty uh, great. If you were subscribed, you may have caught it. Um, I do have it on private as of yet. If you'd like to watch it, um, you know, I can send you the link to it. We'll see. I might make it public again. It was pretty uh, controversial. But it was interesting. It was great. Um, the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed. So Five of Pentacles reversed is hard times. It's... it's uh, could be some light at the end of the tunnel, though. But this is the end of a relationship. The Ten of Cups reverse, and, and this is a major loss. We have an unhealthy relationship here. There could be some sort of disgrace, embarrassment. Yeah, I feel like there's 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 definitely. I mean, this is a loss, and this is of a relationship, happiness, loss of happiness, lack, a loss of emotional content, abandonment, neglect. Um, this is a major loss of some sort, a loss of of happiness, a dying dream with the Ten of Cups reversed. Needing help. Somebody needs help. A five of pentacles reverse. That is that is extremely unstable. But there could be a turning point. There's a turning point when somebody decides to go ask for help. They're not in a happy relationship. They need to come out of the darkness, but they haven't been able to come out of the darkness for some reason. There's some sort of abandonment here. Abandoning a relationship. Somebody may be abandoning. abandoning. You know, Ten of Cups reverse is a dying dream. Lack of happiness. There's relationship problems here. There is. It's a loss. It's like it's a total loss. It's a big loss. It's almost like somebody is leaving behind something. They're leaving behind a relationship or something that made them happy at one time. Ooh. Strength. This is a strength card. This is I can. This is courage. This is bravery. This is somebody being brave. Being very brave. Asserting their power. Taking their power back. Letting go of fear. Somebody is letting go of fear. This is this is hear me roar. Seriously. This is this is ro this is roaring, you know? Like that song. Hear me roar. I'll tag that song. I'll put it in the comment section. I haven't heard it in a long time. So this is somebody that is leaving behind a relationship where they've been abandoned or neglected or uh, 
led in the wrong direction. This is somebody finding the strength and the courage to express themselves for one thing. This is letting go of fear. Somebody is letting go of their fear for a sure. Absolutely. Six of Cups reverse, leaving the past behind. This is leaving the past behind. This could be, you know, this is freedom from obligation. Okay, everything changes. Somebody is making a change. There's, they're in a disharmony. Uh, I can't speak for any reason for the last few days. I don't know what the energy is, but I'm really having a hard time speaking. Six of Cups reversed is... Um, lack of harmony, uh, a lack of harmonious, no harm, harmony in a relationship that somebody's been clinging to. Somebody's been clinging to a relationship. They have. But there's no peace, there's no harmony. And it's time to get your life back on track. Somebody is finding their courage and their strength to do so. Now the Six of Cups reversed is freedom. It's packing up. It's leaving home. It's uh, realizing that nothing stays the same. It feels like somebody has been robbed. You know, they've been robbed of their innocence. Now they've become stronger. Very, 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 very strong. They may have gotten into a relationship, you know, all innocent and naive. But something has obviously happened where there's been neglect they've been there's been some uh it's been insecure it's been uh unstable there may have been some financial hard times it's just been um somebody was led by an individual that may have had a victim mentality or may somebody may have even played the victim you know um but this is this is uh freedom it is the Six of Cups reverse. It is freedom. This one is too. It really is. This is freedom from an unhappy relationship. You know? Going someplace else. I'm not I'm not gonna sit out here and wait forever. Somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I feel like they're done waiting. We have a very strong individual who is giving up on a relationship that isn't happy. And it's, I mean, I hate to say that, but that is what it is. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So this is, this is not, uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is, isn't putting in any more effort at all. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody who's not working. This person is not working. They're not putting in effort. They don't have a lot to offer. Very stubborn, very possessive. Um, could be There could be some jealousy issues here. A lack of growth. Very, very boring. Lazy. So we do have a, 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 an individual who has doesn't really have anything to offer anymore. Nothing to offer. Let's get another card for that Queen of Pentacles. There's some sort of neglect here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Pentacles reverse. There's been some sort of neglect. Instability. Insecurity. We have somebody here that is unstable. They're insecure. They may be jealous, controlling, possessive. May have a careless attitude. This person may not have any um, means to help financially as well. There's lack of financial abundance here. Or we have somebody that won't share their money, won't give their money. It could be somebody that's greedy. You know, or just doesn't 
have a lot of money or, or something or does it work for money or something like that very very stubborn very possessive I feel like we have somebody here that is and this person looks unhappy okay this person looks very unhappy to me we have somebody here that's that's just uh, not very happy by the looks of things happens to be the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse she may be pissed she may be pissed she may be the one that is roaring okay we could have a it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be a Leo um, could be anybody we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well. Um, but somebody is really going to be expressing, okay? This is somebody who is, I think somebody's upset. Very, very, very upset. Somebody can't provide. It's like there's no, there's some sort of financial hardship here or something. Or somebody is refusing to provide or refusing to pay or something like that. I think we have somebody here that is mean-spirited. They're spiteful as well. And, and I feel like uh, there's some financial issues within a relationship. There's financial issues. And I feel like somebody's going to be, you know, expressing how they feel about the relationship because of the money problems. There's money problems here. I don't see any love yet either. Maybe there wasn't one time, but with these cups reversed, I mean, there's a lack of happiness put it that way the world card okay so this is this is the major completion it's the end it's the end of this phase it's the end of this journey it's the end of this chapter okay this is it's the end it's the end it's there's there's no going back this is this is be leaving something behind both of the six of cups reverse and the world card basically leaving something behind that doesn't that isn't growing there's no more growth here there isn't there's no more growth Somebody is making a final decision with the world card. They're stepping into the future. They're focusing on a better future. They want something more. I mean, the world card is a completion. It leaves the past behind and moves somebody forward towards a better future. There could be moving. There could be traveling. This is freedom as well. So we have somebody here that is breaking free. They are. This is really saying goodbye to the past saying goodbye to the past they are finding their strength they are it feels like there could be some screaming going on okay somebody could be screaming they could be screaming it's over and it could be a scream a literal literal scream or whatever words they say are very profound it's over There definitely could be a change of residence here, you know, with that world card. Somebody is, is learning a lesson. There's something about public recognition as well, because the world can represent the world wide web. Something may have been publicized, or there's something that is, is maybe made public. There could be some public embarrassment here even, because this is a disgrace. Somebody could could be... Uh, getting publicly embarrassed. I'm just being honest with you. But this is completing a cycle, learning a lesson, and beginning a new one. So somebody is, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, they're completing a cycle. They've learned a lesson. They've found their strength. And they're going to begin a new cycle. They're going to begin a new journey. They're leaving something behind that is definitely disharmonious. It's unharmonious, not dis. That's the problem here. Unharmonious. There's no happiness here. There's a lot of loneliness. But they've been clinging to it. So somebody's been clinging to it. They've been clinging to it because at one time it made them feel loved. It reawoken their feelings for love. But now... Now, there's a turning point with this Five of Pentacles. There is a turning point. Somebody is starting to see something more clearly about somebody, you know, that they're dealing with that is really not of value. Okay? 
It's not a value with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Um, this isn't something that I should hold on to. There could also be a loss of possessions. You know, somebody is could be losing their possessions. They're losing their possessions because of their poor decisions. King of Swords reversed. So there's probably going to be an argument. I mean, we get the King of Swords reversed. We get the, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. They're right next to each other. This is this. There definitely could be an argument. There could be an argument. There could be some nasty words that are said. Very nasty. Um, there could be some bullying. There could be some abuse. It could be neglect. It could be mental abuse. It could be verbal abuse. It could even be physical abuse. Okay, there's there's a bully here. Somebody is is trying to bully or manipulate with their words. There could be we could have a master manipulator here that is trying to manipulate somebody with their words. And it could be any sign. This master manipulator is is going to get s screamed at. Or they're going to get told exactly how it is. But this person enjoys power. Okay. You know, when you get the when you get the King of Swords in reverse, there's some sort of abuse and it could be any any kind. This is somebody that is very cold and uncaring. I feel like there's been an abuse of power, okay? There there is. And this person is now feeling powerless. You know, we have somebody here that is feeling powerless and they may be, and because they're feeling powerless, they're, they're becoming power crazed, you know, you know, when you get the king of swords reversed, I'm not, there could be some violence. There could be some violence because somebody has lost their power and they want it back. There could be some vengeance, you know, or revenge. Somebody may be trying to hurt another person. They're trying to hurt another person to, to regain control. They want control. Oh my God, this is not good. This is all coming to an end though with that world card. This, this, somebody's about to learn a lesson. They are, or they have learned a lesson. They're, getting, they're learning a lesson about manipulation and lies and being untrustworthy and uh, trying to force things and trying to be in control. Somebody is learning a lesson about that. They're dealing with an individual who is not going to give anything. It's like, no, very stubborn. You have a very stubborn individual who is not going to budge with that queen of pentacles reverse this person is not going to budge there's going to be a major completion okay there there's this is a fight of some sort this is a fight or an argument that ends it all up perhaps with the six of cups reversed nothing stays the same you have a new beginning that is about to begin a new be new beginning a new start leaving the past behind moving towards the future accepting that something is over not looking back. Somebody is not looking back. They're leaving. They're definitely not. This is typically in the world card. We have somebody that is looking back. Not in this card. This is somebody who is. I'm. I'm moving on. I am moving on. There's no going back. Mind is made up.
judgment. Oh boy. So judgment, we know judgment is about karma. This is the end. This is a transition. Okay, this is an absolution. Right next to the world card, this is an ending. It is a major ending. It's This is a major, major, major ending. And karma is absolutely involved. This is a ruling. This is making a judgment call, making a final decision. This is the end of the trial. Okay, it's over. It's absolutely over. This is truth being revealed. And, it, and this truth, if you take a look, I mean, it looks like it's painful. It looks like it's a painful truth, okay? Um, we have somebody that has, is, has broken some chains, okay? They're breaking free from a, from a toxic situation, the devil. Usually the chains are the devil. You see, somebody has broken free from a toxic situation. They have found their strength in their courage, in their willpower, in their discipline to break free. Now they are being released. They are being released from hell. Somebody has been living in some fucking hell. And they are, they've just made a final decision. To break free and it's and they have found the strength to do so. Wow. Wow. So this is uh, responsibility being assigned. This is the end of things. A spiritual awakening. An epiphany, making a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a life-changing decision and they're going someplace else because the world card is stepping into a new world, right? It's stepping into a new life. It's leaving the past behind. It could be traveling. It could be moving. A change of residence. This is definitely the end of a cycle. And it is going to end with a bang. Probably some screaming by the looks of things. Somebody is ready. They are ready. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable. They're ready. They're ready to live again. They're ready for their new life. We think of the phoenix rising from the ashes. They have to. They have to make that call. They have to. They have to hit that spot where, you know, they hit the ground. And they get back up and start over. They come back better than before because they've learned something. This has learned a lesson. A lesson has been learned. Somebody has learned a lesson. And maybe they've learned something about their self-worth because the Queen of Pentacles is all about worth and value. We have somebody who didn't know their worth, didn't know their value. By the time this is over, they will. So anyway... Get ready to hear somebody roar. And probably say goodbye. Good luck.